See, I think a lot of the times we feel that we must do something in order to be a certain way. See, and that takes us from accepting ourselves now and moving with grace and strength and being in flow and being able to adapt. It keeps us in a state of denial and rage and this hardening of our spirits. We go and we fail and we beat ourselves up and we go and we fail and we beat ourselves up. And we're in this nasty cycle. So in the same as that we develop and we feel like we must be somewhere to be good enough. When we desire and we want something so bad to bring us joy. We are saying and affirming to ourselves that the position I am in right now is not good enough for me. This presence is a is not happy enough. It is not filled with glee. It is not joyful enough for my tastes. I need to get to a future. I need to ingest something that will make me feel much better. So give me that chronic, bruh. <laughs> Give me that chronic, bruh. And it's it's that we need to understand is the cause of neediness in a lot of our lives. And we've been told neediness is to be to be guard against that neediness. And that's why because you are not whole if you need something. Eradicate neediness from your lives, and I guarantee you that it will change everything about you. It will change your relationships. It will change your body. It will change your level and your perceived happiness that you have right now. So what does that mean? And how do you go about it? There's three ways. And this, listen, in sales, this is an analogy I'm going to use because it's powerful. And you can understand in sales, you have a product that someone wants. If you need them to buy it, they know they have power. They don't have to buy from you. They can buy from someone else who has the same product. They can buy a different car. They can buy a different watch. They can buy different insurance. So why buy from you? You have to become in your life the prize. And you are the prize when you see yourself as the prize. As you see yourself as whole. As you see yourself as present. When you eradicate the neediness to be more to experience more, to do more. When you become here and now, and you begin to be able to focus on the beauty of now, you experience a deeper and a richer life. During conversations, are you needy to get your words out? Are you needy to have them like what you're going to say? Are you needy for that girl to give you her number? What would you like to see if you could get her number? Are you dependent on the outcome? Is failure an option that you can live with? If this video doesn't turn out right, do you care? We have to realize that if we want to get rid of this neediness, we have to stop wanting so much to fulfill our hearts. We have to know that we are a creation, if you will. If you believe in creation, if you believe in I don't care what you believe in, we are here on this earth. And we can choose to live our lives miserable in the present. We can choose to say that we're unhappy with the day. Or we can choose to be thankful for what we have. A lack of neediness is an expression of gratitude. I have enough.
That's when you come alive. That's when you flip the switch. You don't even have to. You don't even have to practice gratitude. Just want nothing. So the first thing is want nothing with other people. Know that, know that someone else is not going to fill, fulfill you. Know that that thing or that drug or that meal or that speech or the ending or the applause is not going to fulfill you. Number two is be there. Be present. Give to the world your gifts. Show the world the energy that you have in you. Don't keep it up. Don't bound it up tight. Don't let the mind work yourself in the cocoon, a tomb, a casket of the mind that you lock yourselves in and you bury underground. Unleash this thing. Unleash the presence inside you, the energy. It's there, man. And then the third thing is to keep going. Don't get weighed down. Don't get stuck in one place for too long. If you've given your gifts, give them and get out. Remember that you are the prize. Okay? And I don't say the prize in an egotistical way. I mean realizing, the realization that you, my friend, you, my brothers, are good enough. Elijah, you are okay, bro. You don't gotta get bigger upper pegs. Your neck doesn't gotta get that much bigger. It's fine. Right? Your traps are okay how they are. See, when you begin to go from that place, everything else, everything else falls into place. I have so much. I have so much. But it's the desire for more and more and more. The desire to experience something new, to get out of this thing, to make myself more happy that keeps me from really experiencing life. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.